So today we're going to be looking at dilations. Uh, anyone ever been to the eye doctor? Like I know I have to go to the eye doctor to get my eyes checked, but what do they do to your eyes when they go to check them? Yes, they have you read this screen, but when the doctor goes to look in your eyes, they put in eye drops which make your eyes bigger. They're dilating your eyes. They're making your eyes larger. On the other end of the spectrum, uh, I won't name anything that does this, but there are some illegal substances that do the opposite to your pupils. There are some that make them bigger, but then there are others that make them smaller. That's still a dilation. That's one way if you know, you get stopped by an officer or something, they're like, are you on anything? No, no, officer, I'm not. But then they're looking at your eyes, and your eye pupils are like teeny tiny, or they're giant. It's like, oh, really? Sure. So, dilations. That means to make something larger or smaller. That's what we're talking about when we do dilations. So a dilation is a transformation that changes the size of the figure but not its shape. Your eyes being dilated doesn't turn them into squares. Your pupil is still a circle. It's just a bigger circle. Or if you're on something, maybe it's a smaller circle. So a scale factor describes how much the figure is enlarged or reduced. So for a dilation with a scale factor of K, you can find the image of a point by multiplying each coordinate by K. So if our point was AB, the dilation would be K times A and K times B. So if K is a fraction less than 1, the image gets smaller. For instance, if K was like 1 half, that means the image is going to be, if it was this big, now it's going to be this big. It's going to be half as big. If K is greater than 1, the image gets bigger. So like let's say K was equal to 2. If this was your original image, you're going to make it bigger. That's a dilation. So, let's look at this picture says the figure shows the position of a photo. Draw the border of the photo after a dilation with a scale factor of three halves. So what we first want to do is get the original points. So this is the original in this column. This column is going to be our new points. Okay, so where is A at initially? A is at zero, zero. B initially is at 1, 2, 3, 4. So 0, 4. C is at 1, 2, 3, 4. D is at 3, 0. Come on, erase, please. There we go. Okay, now in this middle column, you're like, whoa, what's that middle column for? That is so we can go through and multiply our original point by our scale factor. So I'm going to just kind of set things up here. Hang on. Uh, 
Okay, so then we're going to come through our scale factor. It told us to do three halves. So that's equal to 1.5. So we're going to be getting bigger. We're making our picture bigger. So zero times three halves. We're multiplying everything times three halves. It's like we're Oprah. You get multiplied by three halves. You get multiplied by three halves. Everybody gets multiplied by three halves. That's what I want to happen to my money. I want my money to be multiplied by three halves. That means I have more money. So multiplying everything times three halves. There we go. So then our new points, zero times three halves is just zero still. Zero. Any zeros here, I'm going to go on the fill in because it's just zero. Okay. Four times three halves. That gets us six. So that's going to be a six. Three times three halves is... 9 halves, or 4.5. So like I said, this is also the same as 4.5. I'm going to leave it as 9 halves, but you could have also said 4.5. Okay, so now we have to draw the new outline of the picture. So we're still going to start at 0, 0. So this is going to be our A prime. B is at 0, 6, so I go up to 6 up here. This is going to be B prime. Optimus prime, transform. Wait, what? 4 and a half, 6. It's about right here. It's going to be C prime. And then we're going to have D prime at 4 and a half, 0. And then we're going to draw our line to connect them all. There we go. There's the new size of our picture. Now, when you do this on a elastic, you have to click each point. So, like, you have to say A... To B. And then it would draw you a segment. You'd have to say, you'd have to click the B point again and then go to C. Then it would draw that segment. Click C again, then go to D. Click D again and then go to A. And then that way it would connect, draw all your lines for you. If you don't, then it'll just draw every other line. Like if you did A to B, great. It would have oh, that line. But then when you go and you just click where C is and go to D, then it would show that line. Then if you click A again, it's going to look like it did nothing. So you have to go A to B, B to C, C to D, D to A for it to draw the whole border. Okay, let's keep it moving. Given that triangle AOB is similar to triangle COD, find the coordinates of D and the scale factor. So remember, scale factor is new divided by old. So what are we finding? We're finding D. D is our new. That's our new. That's our old. Now, the Y is zero, so that's not going to do us any good. But then if we look over here at CA, this is going to be our new, because that's the line that's connected to D. This is going to be our old. So if we do that logic, new is four, old is two, that's two. So our scale factor is equal to two. Scale feather. Wow. Scale factor equals two. 
Okay, so I need to multiply the, these points here by 2. 3, 0 is my original. I need to multiply it by 2. So, times 2. 3 times 2 is 6. 0 times 2 is 0. That means D is going to be at... Oh, let me box this in. D is going to be at 6, 0. There we go. Okay. So let's move on to the back. Given that RSV is similar to RTU, find the coordinates of S and the scale factor. Okay, we want to find S, so that means S is the new. T is the old. That means V is the new. U is the old. So for our scale factor, what did we say? Scale factor was new over old. New over old. So look at the two points you have. These are the ones we want to use. So negative 6 over negative 8, that reduces to 3 over 4. So our scale factor is 3 fourths. That's part of our answer. Now we have to do our point. Well, they give us 16, 0. We're going to have to multiply that times 3 fourths. Well, 16 times 3 fourths is 12. 0 times 3 fourths is 0. So that means your point T is at 12, no, not T, eh, S. S is at 12, 0. Let me make sure on that previous one I actually did it and wrote the right point. Yep, I wrote the right point. D is at 6, 0. Okay. Yep, S is going to be at 12, 0. Okay, so scale factor and similarity ratio, like we learned similarity ratio, we learned in unit 6, these are not the same. The similarity ratio relates a first figure to a second figure. A scale factor is what we multiply the first figure by. to get the second figure. So they're not the same. Similarity ratio relates first to second. Scale factor is what we actually multiply by. Okay, let's do a little review. The side, the ratio of a rectangle sides is two to five to two to five. So if we have a rectangle here, it's going to be like 2 to 5 to 2 to 5. The perimeter of the rectangle is 42. How long are the length and width? Now, if I were to add these up, 2 plus 5 plus 2 plus 5, would that give me 42? No, it doesn't. So that means there's an X after each of these. 2X, 5X, 2X, 5X. So I need to add that up. 2x plus 5x plus 2x plus 5x equals 42. That's going to give us 14x equals 42. Divide by 14. And we would get x equals 3. Is that what they ask us for? No, they want us to find the length and the width. 
So for the length, we have to do 5 times 3, which is 15 inches. For the width, that's 2 times 3. It's going to be 6 inches. There's our length and our width. 15 inches and 6 inches. Okay. Van Gogh's famous painting, The Starry Night, is 72 centimeters wide and 92 centimeters long. Karen has a print of the painting hanging in her room that is 57.5 centimeters long. What is the width of the print? So let's do the original first. 72 wide over 92 long. Karen's is 57.5 centimeters long. So that means it has to go on bottom. That means that's got to be an X. And then we cross multiply. So 92 times X equals 72 times 57.5 just 4140. Divide by 92. And we get x equals 45. Our units are centimeters. Okay, so there's the dilations lesson and a couple of review problems. Stay tuned and we'll have the guided practice.